Hi guys, welcome back to my amazing kitchen. And if you are new here, kindly click on that subscribe button right now and join the amazing family today. In this video, we are going to be making some delicious and simple chicken noodle soup. You won't believe how easy it is to make. So come along and let's get right into it. We need a few ingredients, some carrots, we need some parsley, celery, we need some uh, onion. I'm using a red onion, but you don't have to use red onion, some garlic and some bay leaf. You can also add ginger if you prefer. I have my chicken and I'm using a boneless and skinless chicken thigh, but bone in is even better, but I don't have that. I also have some chopped carrots, some chopped shallots, some chopped celery, really finely chopped, my homemade all-purpose marinade and some salt to taste. And for my noodles, I'm going to be using this organic ramen noodles, but you can use spaghetti, macaroni, pasta, any noodle of your choice will work perfect in this dish. And as always, all the ingredients will be listed down below. To begin our soup, we first need to make some sort of stock or broth. If you have chicken stock, you can skip this first step entirely. Add your chicken to your pot and add your parsley and your large carrots and onion and your chopped celery. And I'm going to add some black peppercorns as well. Add your bay leaf and I'm going to add about 2 liters of water to my pot. If you are using ginger, you can slice the ginger and add it to your pot as well. Now season it with some salt and then transfer it to your stove top and then bring it to a boil. Once it begins to boil, you want to skim off this foamy white bit that settles on top of your stock. You want to have a clear stock. Don't be lazy about this because it will make your soup very cloudy. Unless you want a cloudy chicken soup, please feel free to leave it there. But I don't want this, so I'm going to take it off as much as I can to have my stock as clear as this. Once it comes to a boil, you want to turn down the heat and allow it to simmer until your vegetables become very soft. And mine took about 30 minutes. So now I'm going to take out my chicken, set it aside, and then strain my stock. After straining your stock, just add about a tablespoon of olive oil and then add your shallots to your pot. A tablespoon of oil is all you need. You want to fry your shallots until they are translucent. You can also use any onion you have. Add your chopped carrots and your chopped celery and fry this for about two to three minutes until it becomes very fragrant and slightly caramelized. Next, you want to go ahead and add your homemade all-purpose marinade, which is a form of ginger paste. You can add your ginger garlic if you don't have it and stir fry that as well together with your chopped uh, vegetables and then add back the stock you set aside from the beginning. So if you have chicken stock, you can skip the first step entirely and cut down on your cooking time. So now allow the stock to cook together with the vegetables for just about 5 minutes and season with some salt. At this point, if you added too much oil from the beginning, you will realize that the oil will settle on top because oil and water do not mix well together. Next, go ahead and add your dry noodles. You don't need to pre-cook the noodles. You can add it dry so that the noodle will soak up all the flavors from the stock and the vegetables. Give it a good mix and allow the noodles to simmer gently until it is well cooked. In the meantime, I shredded the chicken I set aside and I'm going to add that back to my soup because my noodles is fully cooked at this stage and I'm going to allow it to cook for about 2 or 3 minutes more and season with some black and white pepper. At this point, you want to taste and adjust the seasoning according to your own preference. One tip here, 
don't use too much noodles use less than you would actually want to use because you want to have a good ratio of noodles to soup and that is how you enjoy this soup really well and seriously this is all there is to making a very good pot of chicken noodle soup all we have to do now is to plate up and enjoy ourselves a good hot bowl of chicken noodle soup i love this the children love this oh, on a rainy cold winter day this is such a comfort to the soul i hope you enjoy this recipe as well so until i come your way next time with another amazingly delicious recipe Please remember that cooking should always be fun and exciting. So try to cook each meal with love and see it radiate through the hearts of your family. Thank you so much for watching guys and see you in my next video. Bye.